guys, it's the now 543 with the tutorial for today. Um, sorry if I haven't put any videos on in a while. I've just got my new laptop and there's been a bit of a few problems, but uh I'm working through them and just the mic. Okay, that's good. Alright, now you can see this layer, this uh little button I made. Sorry, oops. This little uh, button I made for, I don't know, whatever you want to use it for, you know, maybe if you want it to be an object dock thing or whatever, you know. So there's a button, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it using Photoshop CS3. Alright, so let's open a new canvas. Um, we'll make it 4,000 by, uh, 400 by 400, uh, just to be safe. Because, uh, you know, there you go. So here's our canvas. All right, so first we got to make a little background. So I'm, I'm going to click Custom Shapes. And I um, have a lot of shapes I've downloaded. Uh, you can get um, shapes and whatnot to use from freeforphotoshop.com. I'll put this link in the description. All right. So let us make a a button. We're gonna have to shape our button like something. So for demonstration purposes, I think I'll just use a diamond. All right. So you can click on that. And now while you're doing this, hold down the shift button so you get a nice even thing. You don't want anything like like this or like that so hold shift like that alright so here's our our little button uh... let's make this a color i'll go for light blue and you're gonna go over here click the paint bu bucket yes 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 whatever alright so here we are here's our our colored shape um... so now we gotta add a border to it um... so add a border we're gonna click on it and we're going to go over here and we're going to create a new layer. Let's create new layer button. And move it behind our shape number one. So the background will appear behind it. So make sure you have clicked on here. Oh, um, if you want to, this is not a necessary step, but uh, if you right click on your any image, go to blending options. And um, we'll click inner shadow right here. And uh, make the opacity 75%. Here, I'll show you what we're doing. See, look, we're making a little inner shadow on the uh, the shape. We're going to go distance 2, choke 10, and size 35. Opacity 100%. Angle, that doesn't really change anything because we have it on all sides of our diamond. And um, when you're done, you'll click OK. So there we have our button. Um, now back to the background. Click on layer number two and um, I'll re rename this. Oh, yeah. Just double click on the name and name it Border. So that way you know it's the border. And this isn't necessary, but you can click and name this Main or whatever. So, um, click border, and then holding down control, click the main, and you'll get the nice, that outline around the main. Now you go select, modify, expand, expand it by four pixels. Click OK, and there you have, now we have this little thing in the back here. So now we're going to go over to our paint bucket tool. Select paint bucket, um, use black. We fill our button in with a black outline. Now we have this nice black outline that makes it look really professional, or whatever you want to call it. All right, so now to add the gloss to it, we'll go again, create a layer above the uh, above our main, and we're going to name this layer gradient. I'm not sure if I'm spelling that right, but who cares? So we already have. We're on our gradient. Control click the main again 
and this time go select modify contract contract it by three pixels and um, select the color to a color that's a bit lighter than our main color so we're going to make this a bit lighter about that should do and then we're going to go to our gradient tool and select the gradient this gradient which is foreground to transparent double, double click on it go down here holding down the shift button we'll go up about about two-thirds of the way let go and now we have this gradient effect which looks really nice so now we're gonna create yet another layer once again control click on main um, select modify contract three and this time we're going to select our elliptical marquee tool go down to right somewhere around here and holding down the alt button drag that so you get the whatever you want your gloss to be like for for now I want my gloss to look right like that and so see what it does it's only highlighted this part up here so now change our foreground color all the way to white and click on the gradient tool same gradient uh, foreground and transparent go right here go above hold down shift click and drag downward and then we'll just deselect by just clicking somewhere and there you go now we have our little glossy thing I guess you call that alright so now we're gonna add our icon on our button so we're gonna go back click our custom shapes tool and select let's select a shape let's say this will be a button for uh... who, who knows uh... maybe for a website f like a teaching website so we'll select the apple so that sort of represents school and teaching and you get my gist so shift click here now make your apple about that size reposition it in the middle and uh... now go over here click paint bucket tool click on the black click even though there's a little unavailable the shape blah 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 click ok because this will get rid of the vector max on the shape and will also allow us to apply the gradient now or the uh, gloss so drag it underneath your gloss layer and so now you have a nice glossy effect and if you want to get more of an effect you can drag it more into the gloss section and um maybe we can add some text down here like uh... Ooh, smaller font like um... school there so now we have a little font at the bottom there that we can make bigger or something a bit bigger 14, uh, 14 looks good right there and then click alright so now we have our our uh, button now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna um, oh we're gonna give it a 3d look your 3d button it's, it's your button is 3d but your little icon your little school icon and your apple icon aren't so we're gonna right double click on the picture of the apple and we're gonna add a bevel and boss now we want it to go down change our depth to 200 percent size to 2 angle to 60 and if you notice look over here um we're gonna it's gonna be a an outer bevel like that so now we have a nice outer bevel and we're gonna click OK 
And so we'll do the same to our school. Um, blending options. Bevel and emboss. I'm going to do the same thing here. 200. Outer bevel. Going down. Size 2. Angle 60. Great. Okay. So there you have it. And um, there's our little button. Now if you want to get really...